Hi guys, today I bring you Deepa Banu to minus six for level 250 Paladin and minus six is basically this level here. We're also going to be doing a couple of pulls and minus five. Uh, you know, people call it different things. Some people call it minus one, minus two, minus four, all over the place. I call it minus six. This is the global level minus six. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. So let's take a look. Uh, Looking at the familiar resorts and non-familiar, familiar you can get somewhere around 2.1kk and somewhere around 1.9kk with non-familiar which gives you an average of around 2kk raw experience which is about 3kk on 150 and the loot is somewhere around 350k per hour. Uh, this place tops out approximately 2.2kk raw and then it's just not enough respawn, this is around level 300 maybe. Uh, difficulty wise about a 5 out of 10, it's not too bad. Beast Jerry, 4 hours for Eternal Guardian, 5 hours for Hydra, 7 hours Serpent Spawn, 13 hours for Medusa. Uh, moving on, you will need the uh, Ape City and Wrath of the Emperor quest lines up to the relevant mission to get Deeper Benuta. I believe that's mission 4. This place can effectively be hunted by uh, Knight, Paladin, Sorcerers, Duos as well at lower level, like 130 level Duo is also probably going to be pretty good. Recommended imbuements, all standard. Um, and prioritize physical protection for, followed by life drain protection. Bone Fiddle will be extremely helpful here due to the high life drain damage from Medusas and you might even consider using garlic necklaces to help with that life drain damage. Probably better than a foxtail. With regards to supplies per hour for a paladin you'll need about 300 great mana potions, 5 ultimates just in case, probably not going to be needed, 1400 diamond arrows, 600 runes and 6 bullseye potions, nothing here debuffs your distance so feel free to use those. Uh, charms, uh, you know, usually at this level I probably wouldn't have anything to apply on here, um, I would probably be unlocking charms here but if you have things then zap on medusa or serpent spawn would probably be best choice. Uh, I doubt you're going to have any more than that. Uh, for the wheel, if you have a wheel, T1 grenade is probably best. It's a safe spot, so Gift of Life is not going to be that useful. Uh, I'll probably go for T1 grenade. However, at level 300 plus, you're probably not going to be hunting here anyway, so kind of irrelevant. And the character you'll see in the video is a level 295, RP of 120 distance skill and 31 magic level. So moving on, let's take a quick look at the route. So uh, let's assume we start on minus six, because this, this will be easier. What I do is I come in here, I do a pull in this room, go up here, do a pull in this room, 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 and then I go to the staircase and I go one level up. Then I'll come out, sort of pull the monsters from here and usually end up doing a pull here and go in here and do a pull here. And then I go back down and I restart the loop. So as you can see, there's uh, seven pulls on minus six and two pulls on minus five. And that's that's all there is to it. It's quite a nice place. Make sure to pick up those killing in the names of tasks, uh, you know, hydras, uh, serpent spawns and medusas if you don't have 100 points yet. Um, yeah, it's an all right place. It's a little bit awkward sometimes because those monsters do run away. You don't have an Exeta, so it's 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 a bit of an annoying place, but it's all right. At level 250 plus, you should be able to manage. Anyway, that's what I have for you today, guys. Going to play the video now, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you.